Hello everyone, this is Bashful Geek, and today I'm going to show you a video of one of the programs I made. I've been working on it for a while now. I actually finished it a couple months ago, but I didn't want to show it yet. But now I'm showing it, so that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, I'll be showing you later how to use the BAT to EXE converter. Pretty simple, but just demonstration purposes. And when you download this, uh, you're going to get it in an EXE format. And you'll get password.txt, and this is what you're just going to type in. I put a measure of security reasons so no one steals uh, my idea. Or my program, basically. It's not my idea, but it's my program. Um, this basically verifies that you agree to the terms of service. And this basically is just where you choose your file location. I'm just going to use default for now. I'll show you how to change that later. And you press enter to install it. And for username, I'm just going to put user, just for demonstration purposes. It says welcome user to Notepad. And then it's made by Batch File Geek, which is me. And I uh, just did that for security purposes. And basically, I'm going to bring you through all these lists, but I'm going to do Notepad last. So change file location. So if I wanted to change the file location, you know, it says this is the default of it. And I can easily put in a new directory, but if you just want the directory of what you know, it's currently in, like, I'm running this off the, my desktop from the folder notepad. So if I wanted to change the directory, I'd put, um, files, you know, just f just for fun. And as you see, it generated files, it generated notepad, and it generated the license and the readme. And then, since we changed it to files, everything else default is set to that folder. So let's say I wanted to open a folder, which is five, or open a file, then it will bring me to, to that folder right here, which is where I, I installed everything. And as you just see, it when I switched it, I switched it to this one. And so it has license and readme. So if I wanted to open it, I'd just type in like readme.txt. It has to be very very precise. And you click enter. It says this program is by Battlefield Geek, and then there's my website. As promotion, and then if I wanted to delete the README, I just go and I type in six, type in the same thing again, read me.txt, click enter, and it would delete it. And I know it would delete it because I can go in the files and notepad, and README is no longer there. Along with that, you can just click five, and you can see README is no longer in the display. So that's just a little pop-up thing. It just says that I didn't put anything in, so no biggie deal. It's no big deal. And changing the color is just four. And, like, I don't know. If I just wanted to change the background color to red and the text to blue, you know, that's what that would do, even though it looks really bad. <laughs> so I'm going to change that back. And if I want the background color back to the original... Wait, that's not original. I like white better, so... <laughs> okay, so... Now I'm going to show you... So I showed you how to delete a file, open a file, change the color, and change file location. Now the help menu... It's just a list of stuff, just in case you get lost, but you can just watch my video again. It'll show you everything, so you don't have to read all this. And now I'm going to actually show you what my program does. So just go into quick type in one. It says what type of document are you writing? Now, you, yes, I actually made it so you can type in a program file. Um, so basically, I can write a batch file from a batch file. And I'll show you that later. I'll show you the text format first. It's just a simple one. And now, do you want it to number your lines, or you do, do you want it not to number your lines? So just do... With, with numbered lines, and I'm just going to say uh, text 1. And then, of course, you have to name it TXT because that's the format. And then you're going to say, Hi, YouTube, this is a test. And then you're going to type in save. Whenever you're going to save anything in my program, you type in save the, the space below that you're typing. So, you know, if I wanted to go to the fourth line, I can just type in something like hi again, and then type in save, and it will say your saved your file's been saved, and then it'll bring you back to the home page.
And then, just to make sure, it says text that one, but I'm not going to open it that way. I want to open it this way. So I'll do text one dot text, and there you go. It will give you when you made it, the time, the date, and then these are numbering the lines. Now you see this is test I again. So I found that really cool feature just to put the date that you wrote it. And then I'm going to show you the other way I do it. So then text file, then without numbered lines. So this is going to be text to text. And then I'm going to say hi, you, to. This is a test. Hi again, save. It says this has been saved as text.2, and then you're going to type in 5, and then it says text.2 has appeared, so then you type in text two dot text two dot text, <laughs> and it opens it up, and these are not numbered anymore, and it still saves your date. And that's that with the text files, so then let's go into making a batch file program. So programming files are 2, and what do you want to name this? So I'll say batch one dot bat and do at echo off echo hello this is a test uh, I'll set the title as test one um, I could pause it and then s and then say uh Type again or test is working, and then I'm going to save. I'll do exit and save. <laughs> and it saves it real quick. Sometimes it does that. No biggie deal. No big deal. And so then it says batch one dot bat. So batch one dot bat. Then, as you see, I executed it correctly. I set the title as test1. I set it to say, hello, this is a test, and I paused it. And as you, I don't know if you saw that or not, but that that uh, opened up real quick. Um, that's basically it. And see, you can open it up, test it out. And... Let me see if I'm forgetting anything. So we went through the number writing on the text file, the programming file. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, if you want any other further details on how this works, um, you can ask in the comments below because this took me a long time to make and I don't want to show the code quite yet. So if I, if I get a lot of views or a lot of likes, um, then I'll definitely in the future show you how to run this and how it works. And basically I'm just going to show you how to convert this. So I'm going to go to desktop, and I'm going to find notepad, and then I'm going to go to notepad.bat, and it's going to convert as an exe, and compile, and it's compiled it. And you exit, and there it is. Notepad.bat, oh, notepad.exe. Same exact thing, works. I don't know if I. There you go. Same exact thing, works perfectly. Oop, forgot to type in one. <coughs> and works exactly like it should. So if you have any questions in the comments, again, if you really, really, really badly want to see the code for this, then in the future I might think about it. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you can use this in some extent. Um, and I'll see you guys later.